Bro, I saw this um so Vice, right? So I've been I've been catching up some Vice things because Vice does a lot of uh, a little short uh films that like documentary yeah. type things, right? Okay, so they did one on male plastic surgery, right? So they they focus on these guys in uh Miami. I think both of them were in Miami, right? So I, I just want to focus on this one, right? So apparently, and I might get the percentages wrong, but I think um since like I want to say like 2012 or something like that, the it's been like a 20 percent or 40 percent like like grown uh I guess like. I don't know how to say this word, I guess. Increase. Like, increase. There we go. Increase of like male plastic surgery, mm-hmm. right? And so what, I'm... What, but what, what plastic surgery? Or just anything um, in Just in general. Like just okay. overall in general, right? But more, I, I guess in this specific one, they're focusing more on like cosmetic, more like, you know... Your face, your, your birth, nose. Yeah. And not like, no, I was born with a disorder or, you know, I was going to accident or nothing like that. It's more like, yeah, I just want to look prettier yeah. type stuff, right? Got, got okay. So it's this guy. He's like, yo, you know, man... No matter how, he's 40, so I understand, you know, if you're into fitness a little bit and stuff like that, you understand, like, once a male hits 30, testosterone levels go down. Once you hit 40, it's even a little bit, you know, you can only imagine, it goes yeah. even lower. So it's a little bit harder for you to, uh, maybe the body that you got when you were 20 is going to be a lot difficult to get to, that same type yeah. of shape when mm-hmm. you're 40, right? So I understand that, that last skip. So the guy's basically saying, yo, you know, no matter how hard I work out, no matter how hard I die, I just can't lose the, the, the bottom belly. Again, you know, for men... The hardest part to lose is that yeah, bottom part, the right? Bottom, that, yeah, the, the little gut. The love handles, the little yeah. gut. All that, that, that's where, you know, most of the fat just concentrates mm-hmm. for men. You get me? So he's like, you know, no matter how hard, you know, blah, 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 I can't get it. So his thing was he wanted to get um the lipo. lipo thing and the whole restructure so you could get a six pack, right? Okay. He's like, yeah, you know, I got the four pack on deck, but blah, blah. So I'm thinking, okay, whatever. Let's, let, let, let's continue listening to this because I'm a big proponent believer of like, bro, that shit does not exist. If you think you're going hard and you're not getting the results, you guys, you're not hard, going hard enough, right? There's That's, always another level. Yes. You okay. know, th- th- that was just my initial thought. So they're recording him in the gym with his trainer, right? And, you know, his trainer's one of those trainers that's a little bit, like, uh, out of the box, I want to say. Like, like he's like, man, come on, fat boy. Give me more reps. Give me more reps. Get that shit going, that weak-ass shit. He's like one of those trainers. You get me? That he's, like, like, really trying to get in your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, ooh, okay, but cool, wh- whatever. I, I'm like, I don't know if this is the best trainer for this person. Because clearly, the minute you go into, I want to do plastic surgery, it's because you're insecure. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, yeah. No, no matter how you want to put it, you could put it in nice yeah, words. You're not, you're not when, satisfied with how you look. Exactly. Sure. And, 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 and what I mean by nice words is that some people might put it like, no, you know, if I just like, you know, I put this up and I feel a little bit better, yeah, it's insecure at the end of the day. You get me? So I don't think that that kind of training style to where this guy is psychologically at is the best, but whatever. It is what it is, right? So it's essentially his trainer, like, you know, he has a conversation with his trainer. He's like, you know, man, I come in, I work hard, blah, blah, blah. His trainer's like, man, look, the thing I don't see is that you're not consistent. You don't, you don't, you don't stay to this thing all the time. And right then and there, it's like, bro, why would you go the route of getting plastic surgery when you already, maybe he doesn't even know, but his trainer's pointing out that you're not consistent. He's telling you that you still need to engage another. Yes, like, like, like you're not there. Like, but if you were week after week, month after month or whatever, die, you know, keeping it strict. And you still can't lose that weight. I might understand your fr- your frustration, right? Yeah, but at that point, I would ask, are you even working out? If week after week, you're doing, you're killing yourself and nothing happens? Right, because cause that's what he's like. He's like, bro, I'm in here. I'm working out. I'm killing this. And I still don't see the results, blah, 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 right? Mm-hmm. It's like, whatever, right? But his trainer's basically saying that, bro, like, you're just not consistent. Yeah, you're not putting in the work right. that so way So his thing is, he just wants, you know, instant gratification, mm-hmm. whatever. So I'm thinking this whole time, like, okay, you know, let's go through it. Whatever, he's going through the process. He gets the, the work done, right? So, obviously, once you get plastic surgery done, you have to wait, you know, like, maybe a couple of weeks, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, inflammation has to go down, all that stuff, right? You might so, have some bleeding. Right. And, I'm, first of all, look, he gets a surgery. I don't think it's impressive at all, first but of all. But he me? gets he gets the lipo or he gets the packs, too? So, he lose yeah, yeah. So, you could get the fake. No, he didn't get the fake packs. What he did was he got the, lip, the lipo, I guess, what you want to call it. You know, they, they stuck out, like, fat from here, from the back, all of that stuff, right? And... He didn't get the fake abs or nothing like that. It was just his whole thing was he has the four pack, but he doesn't have the the last two or whatever. So he just wanted to lean that out as yeah. much as he can. The okay, this is the thing with that though, and the reason I'm giving this guy flack for it is because, bro, if okay, first of all, if you can't get there naturally, right, just lose that fat naturally, and you go and get surgery, that just tells me that, 
w however it is that your lifestyle is going, that fat's gonna come right back into. Yeah, you're gonna you're not gonna be able to keep it off. Exactly. Like so, that look is only gonna last so long mm -hmm. until you have to once again mm -hmm. either go through the surgery or realize, yeah. all right, but maybe I do have I to. I gotta put in the work. Right. Yeah. So, I, uh, overall, that 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 whole case was so weird to me. He, um, the other case was this guy. He was doing you know what PRP is right, like uh, the, that they get your blood. They spin it and like it turns into I guess plasma or whatever, and they inject it right back into like a uh, certain spots. It, it so okay, so I know it more for hair hair uh for hair loss, right? So Tory Lanez talked about it a lot when he was on his run for his whole Chick State Five. So you know Tory Lanez had like a receding mm -hmm. hairline, now he got his whole hair back or whatever. So essentially, what they do is that they like I said, they take your blood, they spin it, they inject it back into the follicles, right? So it could grow, and then they do this with. There's like a form of therapy. Also, they do this with like um, like certain injuries and stuff like that. They'll like r take out blood from from you. They'll spin mm -hmm. it and they, it turns into like plasma. I don't, I'm not sure how that whole thing went. And they will inject it back into like certain spots. Which is that like stem cell, kind of like. In in a way, I'm not too 100 percent sure how stem cell works. You know how yeah. you know. Because like you take cells from a different place, right? And then they'll you put it to wherever you need to, and they'll start replicating to heal whatever mm, injury got you have or something like that. So uh, yeah, so, so it's something like that. Uh, I guess you know. So uh, essentially, the what what this is getting to is that just males in general just doing more and more of this, you know, stuff. So I was okay. You know what? I guess I gave the girls a hard time last week. So this week you're and, giving and, equality. Yeah, and this week it's not so much I want to be equality. It's just that it really did catch me. I'm like, bro, okay. The the fact that like I feel like we're getting to this point now where it's like okay. Women have come to this point where it's like, okay, well, you know, we need to be equal like the men, right? Men are not, this is almost like an evolutionary thing now. Men are not getting to the point where it's like, well, you know what? If girls could wear wigs, if girls could wear makeup, if they could wear a, a, a whatever Spanx to snatch the fat and it doesn't look crazy, then I can go ahead and get me, when I'm bald, I can go ahead and get one of those little, yeah. you know, uh, lace front the, things. Yeah, crazy things going Yeah, on, I yeah. can go ahead and get fake muscles. So this is becoming like a, I don't know if this is like, really happening or is this becoming some form of comp i don't understand what the fuck is going on this is why i kind of want to give the guys <laughs> a little bit of shit for this because i just i'm not in i just can't relate to that like in any sense you know I me mean? like 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 you know guys for for the most part there's a, a big meme going on around this week it's like um but like guys they can't wear no makeup they can't wear no wig no nothing so if you're ugly you're ugly and that's kind of true in in, in certain in senses some sense, i don't yeah. want to sound shallow but you get what i'm getting at you get me it's it is true but everybody's true. beautiful george <laughs> whatever yeah i disagree with that but you get what i'm saying that like like there is no like yeah, thing like, for guys you don't update uh, or upgrade who you are right, right. like it, and if you do it it looks weird yeah. i mean we've seen it all, all the time right like you know guys the the whole beijing thing and like the black I mean, it looks even when dj Khaled does it looks weird to me like it, it looks like, like so Kelly Khaled has a beard right you see him get the haircut and everything like he had you see that line that like right like i can see it like it's, it doesn't <laughs> look i don't know man i don't know so certain things to me when it comes to this because I, I just think plastic surgery in general um I mean, who cares about my views on plastic surgery but you know i just don't think that it is something some people should do some people do it because it does make them feel mm -hmm. better it boosts up the confidence blah 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 you know my whole thing is always to get to a root cause right like for example if i have some pain I don't want to take meds for pain. You get me? I want to know why I have this pain. You get me? Do I have a headache because I haven't eaten today? So I let me go eat yeah, some food. Low you get blood me? sugar or exactly. high whatever. Yeah, that, that, that does, most of the time that's what I do. You get me? If I, have so, if I have some type of vibe or something I feel, I don't want to run to like, oh, let me go to this. Mm -hmm. It could go away right now. And it's, you know, the next day I'm going to still feel like shit. You get me? So I don't know, man. But I brought that up just to say, what are your views and your thoughts since you have a bit of a cleaner mind than I do <laughs> on mind. this on this whole uh, male plastic surgery shit? I don't know, man. I, I think 